Hello, God bless everyone who watches this video. Um, so I just want to share this word. It is, um, I got, God gave me a dream and it was, uh, then he gave me a scripture to go with the dream. So I want to share it, yeah. And um, the, the word, the dream was that um, basically I was walking down a hill and um, I saw Jesus was walking up the hill and he was dressed in pure white like absolutely shining white garments and then um, there was another person with Jesus who had the same garments on who was clothed in white shining garments absolutely pure white like shining like the sun almost and then um, I seen I, I seen Jesus and he was like walking up this hill and then you know he was bas he basically like was correcting me in some areas and um, you know it was quite upsetting and stuff but it was for my own good and that and then he was correcting me in some areas and then basically it was um, encouraging me as well in other areas like and he was encouraging me areas that he was happy but areas that needed to co be corrected and so that was the the dream basically in a nutshell and then um the scriptures that uh that he gave to me when, when i had the dream i prayed about it the scriptures were it was um scriptures who because he was walking up hill he was walking up a hill and it, the scriptures, uh, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, Who will ascend to the hill of the Lord? He who has a, them who have a pure hands, clean hands and a pure heart. And um, also the other scripture was when Jesus was talking to the church in the, Re in the Re Revelations, I, I can't remember if it's Revelation chapter 3, and he's talking to a church, so he's not, he's talking to believers. And, and then he's, he's, he says, um, you know, there's, there's some, some believers in, in this church that have not defiled th their garments. And he said, so th they will walk with me in white because they are worthy. Um, but there's obviously other believers there that have defiled the garments with, you know, sin and, and whatnot. And... Um, but the beauty of it is, he, he gives them, he says, you know, he tells them to repent and he tells them whoever overcomes will be clothed in white and uh, will walk with me as well. Because that, that's the thing you see, like Christ has came that we can to overcome the devil and um, he's, he's came to set us free from sin and so he's... he's you know, he's given us the power to overcome sin, and he's, he's, he's give, he gives us these garments. But um, often, with a lot of false teaching and a lot of bad stuff, what you hear, you can go back to your sin and start defiling your garments and start soiling your garments. But the Bible's very clear that Jesus is coming back for a bride without spot and without blemish. You know, and so, you know, we, we need to overcome, like, God is he's, he's so patient with us, and He. he the goodness of God leads man to repentance. So he's, he's so patient with us and gives us so much time to repent. You know, there's, there's a bit even in um, when he's talking about Jezebel in the, in the book of Revelation, he said, that woman who calls herself a pro prophetess, he said, I've given her time to repent, but she ain't repented and she's teaching his servants, people in the church, to, to commit adultery and to, you know, do evil works in the sight of the Lord. And it, but he even give her a chance to repent, but she didn't repent. So obviously we know what happened to her. She got eaten by dogs. And so it's like, um, you know, or I, I don't know anyway, but there's, there's many warnings. Like it even says in the end of the, the book of um, Revelations that, you know, God's going he's, he's gonna to give to every man according to his works. And it says, the, whoever's um, vile, let him carry on being vile. Whoever's holy, let him carry on being holy. You know, whoever, whoever's, you know, basically that's that's the top and bottom of it. I can't remember the exact scripture, but if you read the book of Revelations, it's like, a, that's warnings after warnings to the churches. 
so you know the word is like you know we need to really press into the Lord and um, you know really start to take our, our walk seriously and um, because it's, it's, it's very serious like you know what I mean if, 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 if we don't if we keep walking in our old ways in our old sin then God's not mocked you know he's not going to just ignore sin you know it says God is not mocked whatsoever a man sows that's what he'll reap and um, you know but like you say I can, I can testify to his patience and his goodness and his mercy because you know he's been so patient and forgiving towards me and, he, and he's but he, he's, he's, he's doing he, he, that is to lead us to repentance and he's been like that and he's like that with all of us patient with us merciful but we have to recognize that the goodness of God is what leads man to repentance and to not um, frustrate the grace of God and to not um, you know provoke the holy one to anger and because uh, it, it says kiss the son let least he be angry and you perish and uh, so it's like you know it's, it's, it's time now for the body of Christ to you know really take an account for themselves and, and, and not just um, think that you know God's not gonna judge them according to their sins and that and, and because if somebody tells you that then unfortunately they're lying to you and they're, they're not telling the truth because the Bible's very clear yeah um, there's a list of sins what it gives in, in um, one of Paul's letters it says you know no gossips no slanderers no fornicators no idolaters and it got, it's got this big list of different sin it says will not inherit the kingdom of God and so it, it don't matter what comes what you say if you say you're a Christian and you say this but you but you're living contrary to it it's like you know it's your lifestyle what God what God's looking at like if if you're truly born again then then you'll be overcoming sin in your life and, and it's not like you you know you, what it's, it does take time it is a process but if you've been like the same way for years and years and years and years and years and, and you know you're not you just think you're all right it's, it's not it's not good at all it's it's a very dangerous way to be and you, you know at some point you know you're gonna die and and you know you've got to ask yourself are you ready to die if you were to die today truly if you die today can you honestly say that you're ready to stand before God, a holy God, you know, who's going to judge you? And um, so, yeah, I just want to encourage you to, um, you know, read the book of Revelations, pray and fast and seek the Lord with all your heart. And uh, if, you, if, if you live a lifestyle of fasting and praying, then, you know, you, it's, it, you can live the life. You can live the life what, what Jesus, you can live the life like what Jesus lived. You know, you can be an overcomer. You can live the, you, you can live the life like the apostles did. And, you know, they overcome the devil and um, they overcome sin. You know, like John says, if anyone carries on sinning, like if anyone claims to know God but carries on sinning, he doesn't know God. He doesn't know God. Now, I believe this is what he's talking about, willful sin. You know willful sin like if if you know that you're struggling with gossiping or slandering or something like that or some sexual sin and 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 it's it's something you're struggling with and, and you're not overcoming it then it, it definitely needs you need to deal with it you need to get some help and and get it dealt with and you have to overcome it you can't just keep going in that sin if you die in that sin you know then that sin's going to condemn you you know, because Jesus came to set us free from sin. Not to, he, he didn't came, c come to set, to leave us in our sins. To, to say to you, right, I've died on the cross now, you carry on uh, living in willful sin. And then one, one day everything's going to be all right. It's like, no, he came to set the captives free. And whoever sins is a slave. So whatever, you, what, if, if you are living in willful sin, you're a slave to that sin. But Jesus come to set the captives free. And so he wants to set you free. 
but you know you have to be honest with yourself and and first of all admit if you've got a problem like jesus i've got a real problem here i need some help and and then fast and pray and you know get out of the flesh like get get out of the fleshly areas of your life like whether you start watching tv or whatever it is you're doing you know that's that's you know basically weakening you because it's like if, if you sow into the flesh you're going to reap corruption and so it's like but if you sow into the things of the spirit it's so much easier to overcome the devil when when you're charged up and you've sowed into the spirit like if you if you be when you when you know yourself in the past or whenever you fasted up and you've been fasting and you're praying and you're seeking god you're fired up yeah it's, it's quite or when you first get born again you're on fire it's dead easy to overcome sin you know it's like you're just walking it you're so high on the holy spirit but then when you start to slip back into your fleshy ways it becomes so hard to to defeat the devil because you know he is all about the flesh you know that's that's the devil's play field really that's that's his um that's his his area where he, he can work he, he all the sen senses of this world everything this world has to offer the riches of the life you know the sensual things all the worldly things you know TV, television and it's all escaping and just you know it's just it's just all to just distract you from you know growing spiritually that's one of the great challenges of our age we've got so much technology and stuff and it can be a good thing for us for learning stuff but it can be terrible for distracting us as well so um but anyway i'm not i'm gonna leave it there anyway so but yeah you, you have to overcome your sin that's the reason why jesus christ came the grace of god is the power to overcome sin that's what grace is god gives you the power and he's give you everything you need it says in peter that god has given us everything we need to live a godly life in christ jesus so people are waiting oh god you know set me free set me free but actually god has already set you free and he's already done everything that you need he's give you all the tools to do it but you have to use the tools it's like you know you're doing a job and you've got the tools to do the job but then you know if you don't use the tools you won't be able to do the job you know you but, but you know god has give you the tools and he's give you instructions on how to use the tools and the tools are fasting praying reading your bible um you know meeting together with other believers having fellowship going out sharing the faith sharing your testimony you know being being active in the ministry you know just being being about your father's business like jesus was you know when we're offering jesus food he said oh uh, the, my food is to do the will of him who sent me you know and they, they was like oh is he is, is he get some food in secret or something they didn't even realize but he, he was saying basically i'm i'm not interested in earthly food i'm interested in doing the will of the father and so that's what we need to be like you know jesus is the perfect example for us on how to you know he he did he paved the way for us shown us that it can be done and 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 give us the power to do it he gave us his holy spirit it's, you know we are we have the mind of christ the bible says we are seated with christ in heavenly places it, we've, we've got everything that we need to overcome the devil you know maybe you might need to mind renew your mind you know in some areas but you know you can do it you can do all things through christ who strengthens you so i just encourage you with this video and i and I, if you need help then please contact us because we want to help you and we will help you and pray with you and encourage you and disciple you if you need it you know you can come visit us we can come out we can encourage you whatever you whatever we can do we'll do in the name of jesus christ i seal this video amen